Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and today I want to talk about growing bone using a laser to eliminate gum disease. Typically, it takes one to two years before we see that bone grow back. It is not always predictable. We don't always get bone growth, but frequently we do. And here are some interesting examples, some recent examples of bone growth in teeth or implants that might have otherwise have to have been extracted. So let's take a look. So this patient came in. There was a lot of bone destruction right here between these two teeth, and you can tell by this dark area. When it's dark, there's loss of bone, and even though there is some bone here, that bone is not very dense and is about to be lost also. The patient was treated with LANAP, or laser treatment, and a couple of years later, this is what we see. This area is now filled in, the bone is dense, the tooth is firm, it's no longer as loose as it was, and a tooth that was probably headed for loss is now headed for maintenance and retention. And here's an example of an implant. This is an implant that was failing. All of this bone around the implant had been lost from infection, periimplantitis, and a lot of the bone on the back of the implant. So let's call this, let's just call this the front of the implant, let's call this the back of the implant. These two sides both had bone loss. This is much more obvious than this, but actually this extends a little further down than this one does. And again, about two years later, this is the same implant. This has all filled in with solid bone, solid bone, the implant which was on the verge of uh, uh, probably being lost is now going to be able to be retained and be saved because we were able to stop the infection and grow bone back again. And here's another very excellent example. You can see the bone loss here all the way around the front of the tooth and even encompassing the bottom of the tooth very dramatic bone loss. This tooth almost certainly would have, had, would have had to have been extracted. Two years later, or approximately two years later, all of this bone has filled in. The tooth is solid. There's no bleeding. There's no infection around the tooth. It's a very important tooth because it retains the bridge. If this tooth is lost, the bridge would be lost also. So this is another very good example of what we sometimes can see when we can grow bone back using the laser or the LANAP procedure very often. So here's another example. And in this case, the bone growth occurred more rapidly than we normally expect. This is only one year. This tooth was very loose. Patient really couldn't chew on it. Was very, very, very uncomfortable. Uh, and again, I'm sure this tooth would have been scheduled for extraction. But a year later, this bone has filled in. The tooth is much firmer now. The patient can chew on it. It's much more comfortable. And this tooth, which I'm sure would have been lost, is now going to be saved. And this was after only one year. But that's a little unusual. Usually we have to wait one and a half to two years to see the bone growth that we're typically seeing. What does the laser actually do to cause this? Well, the first thing the laser does is eliminate the infection. We want to stop the infection. If we can stop the infection, then there's an opportunity for bone to grow. Also, the laser affects the bone. The laser actually touches the bone, affects the bone, and can stimulate cells in that bone to start to repopulate that area with more bone cells. So that's another reason that we may see bone growth. But it's not unusual to see bone coming back that has been lost and it's very gratifying. When we do see it, as I say, we don't always see it, but frequently we do. 
and these results are extremely gratifying but the most important thing is eliminating the disease if we can eliminate the disease we can get the teeth healthy we can get the mouth healthy we can get the gums healthy and we can get the individual we can get you healthy because these bacteria that are invading the bone and causing infection in the gum are going throughout your body affecting your whole body in a very negative way so remember, if your mouth's not healthy, your body is not as healthy as it could be. So we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to have comments. We'd love to have questions. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a good day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today.